Hi guys, this is Esra from the ArabianWonders.com and welcome to Hamburg. I'm here in Hamburg this weekend and this is the first German city that I'm ever visiting. I haven't been to Germany before. This is my 34th country, I think. I'll do the math later. But I'm so excited to finally explore Germany. To be honest, I didn't really know much about Hamburg before I actually came to this city. And it's so interesting to learn the history. They have a huge amount of bridges, bridges everywhere. They have over 2,500 bridges. Apparently, it's more than London Amsterdam combined. There is a really big population of a Muslim community here in Hamburg. So for me, as a Muslim visitor, I feel really comfortable in the city but obviously my experience is very very short compared to people living here but I've had a really friendly experience and there are so many mosques in the city and a lot of halal food and on my first day I had Turkish Lebanese and then ventured out to Thai Mexican Italian there's so many to choose from in this city good food is always a plus on a trip but before I get so distracted with food let me rewind a little and tell you how I started my visit to Hamburg. And like every good tourist, I'm starting here in the town hall of Hamburg because this is where the free walking tours start and I love exploring this city by foot the first day I come in. walking tour was very informative and it focused more about the history which was really interesting to know about and afterwards I went to St. Michael's Church where I went all the way up to see the gorgeous view of the city. I headed to the harbor. That building that you see behind me, which is the symphony building that some people refer to as the opera house, but it's just about symphonies. The budget for it is huge. The design is very unique. Not even one window in that structure is the same. Like one window was made by four factories. So it's like intense level of design and detail. And it's one of the very famous buildings here in Hamburg. I was really hoping to catch a show there but I should have planned it way in advance but at least I saw how it looks on the inside from the miniature museum the miniature museum was actually quite cool my favorite part was all the random little tricks they had when you click something and something happens now let's get out and see the area around the museum tell you a funny story about this area which is the warehouse district so Hamburg was a free city and they didn't belong to a king like a lot of other cities within Europe that's why you never find any castles in Hamburg so when they started becoming part of Germany Germany started telling them they needed to pay taxes and it took them about 10 years of them trying to talk about this because they didn't want to pay taxes so they had an agreement after 10 years of discussion they were like okay everybody on this side of the island which is everything before the warehouses started is going to be taxed but everything behind the bridge where the warehouses are is going to be untaxed and do you know what happened on that island they got rid of all the people they built the warehouses put all their stuff in it clever travel I don't like to just stay put in the touristy areas and I try to venture out to go to the local areas and where the residents are um, so I'm here in one of the cool neighborhood that I really like and I'm just walking around the thing I really liked about exploring the residential area was all the street art and the graffiti that I found there
The next morning, I went to west of Hamburg to Altona to see a different part of the city. It used to be Denmark back in the day. It was fun to see the architecture, the farmer's market, and it was even more interesting to see the shopping center that was built on a Jewish cemetery. This visit to Hamburg is not just about exploring, it's also about learning. So let's head out to Keyframe um, event and go check out the schedule there as well and get to learn some tips to improve my vlog for you. The Keyframe event was the main reason I was actually in Hamburg and I loved all the tips I learned, meeting people and the motivation I got overall. It was a very fun four days in the city I could have stayed longer it would have been really cool to plan more of my time ahead so I can go to more attractions but that means next time I have to come back now I'm headed to Berlin which is my second German city that I'm going to visit so tune in to that video hopefully next week see you later